Hey, what's going on? Johnny K, the Cheap Car Collector here, and uh, we have a PSA submission. Um, I think our biggest submission to date. We got 11 cards came back from PSA. Um, we submitted three orders, about 30 cards total. These are the these are the specials: the um, the modern special, the 80 special, and the 90 special. So this is the first one that came back. Um, so we're very excited to see what we got. Um, so, and you know, of course you can look at the website just to check your grade before it came. We, I decided not to do that. I want to be, I guess, surprised. Um, so I guess we will see how we did. Uh, if you like uh, what we do on this channel, subscribe. Uh, like the video. Uh, tell your friends. And uh, we like to do more content. I've been busy lately, so I haven't had a chance to do a lot. But we still try to do as much as we can. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, we have, uh, as I said, 12 cards. Um, a bunch of Kershaw's stuff from my PC, although I guess it, it, it could, you know, if it grades well, it could be valuable. Um, and some various things. So why don't we jump in? So I think most of these, you know, I think had chances of 10s. You know, of course, I wouldn't have submitted otherwise. But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. So we use a uh, Trent Brown to cover the grade. So the first car we have is... So Verlander, 2005 top. So we, I, we did three of these. So let's see how we did. Um, little off-centered. Corners are good. So I think I think this has got a chance at 10. Um, maybe 9. We'll see. These older cards, you're never going to tell. So let's see what we got. We got a... A 9. Okay. Good start. So it's a 9. Every card, I mean, you can't assume it's a 10. So you can almost assume it's a 9 or 10. If you're, if you're you know, if you're... If it's not a total disaster, so okay, here's another one. Again, pretty centered, I think. Good corners. So we got we got eight. Well, that's not good. Yeah, and look, um, the CEO of, of PSA came out and said recently that um they are consist they're being more consistent in their standards, which obviously means they're being tougher. He says they're not being tougher, but they are. So I know across the internet, you know, this is August of 2023, a lot tougher. So this one's, uh, again, I think pretty centered, pretty clean, no corners, corner damage. A seven. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I have to look at it closely. I just don't see anything. So. All right, so 79, not great, but we'll take it. All right, so now, oh, okay, so this is 2012 Heritage, Mike Trout. Um, so it's his second year. Um, Heritage is tough. It's, it's kind of a grainy card anyway, so is that the, the design? Is that the card? But again, centered. Corners are good. Let's see what we got. A nine, okay. I would like for a 10, but always take a nine. Okay, and we, we don't submit anything unless we think it'll be a nine. Uh, the exception being like '80s cards or vintage, where maybe an eight is profitable. Um, but for these kind, of, this kind of stuff, like 2000s onward, you know, nine or better. So, all right. So Kirsch, my PC, my favorite card, probably of all time, the 08 Tops update, rookie card. This one had some bad corners. So honestly, I submitted these as part of my PC. I've never kept this card. I've always flipped it because I've always got nines and tens. This one has a frayed corner, so this is probably gonna be a six or seven. And at fifteen bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong. So I'm gonna guess a six or seven. Yeah, seven. So that's fine. It's centered, but again, the corners are—you can't see it. It's hard to see, but they're a little—they're a little frayed. Maybe you can see that one. So that's fine for my PC. Um, oh, okay, so this is tops. This is Kershaw's um, second year, 2009 tops gold. Uh, first, I love this picture. It's one of the best pictures he's had. He has just different, right? Um, gold card, pretty center. Got a good deal of this online. This is a pretty popular card. So I'm hoping for a, a ten, but nine would be great. It's a little off center, I think. So let's see what we got. All right, nine. Yes, this is great. So yeah, this is a this is a good card and a good and a good grade. I like that. Um, all right, so another Kershaw. So this is a 2000 documentary set. So interesting set. Um, this set had like 5,800 cards in the checklist. Every game has every game for every team has a card. So you see game 103. 
So there are 162 cards of uh, the Dodgers, one for each game. The funny thing is, so there's like 11 Kershaw cards, but it's the same picture. And it's not even a game that has to do anything with Kershaw. So some of the cards of Kershaw, he even pitch. So it was an interesting set. I think Upper Deck was trying to do something a little innovative. I don't think they hit the mark. So these are pretty cheap. But the gold ones, though, one came one per pack. You know, it's, it's such a big checklist. These are kind of rare, but they're not and not very popular. But but I like them. So I gray this gold card. Let's see what we got. Hopefully for a nine. Ten will be great. Eh, okay, nine. So a very interesting set. Um, all right. All right, another trout. So again, a little off-centered, but I think it looks fine. The corners look good. Nothing nothing wrong with it. Hopefully for a nine, maybe. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That is, that is bonkers. I, I, I don't see anything wrong with this card at all. I mean, the corners look good. Maybe it's a white surface. Maybe on the edges there's some something. I mean, this card looks fine. Yeah, I don't get it. I'll have to look this one closely, but <laughs> I don't get it. All right, that's 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 somewhat depressing. All right. Okay, so this is Kershaw. This is one of his minor league cards. Uh, it's a little got little damage in the corner, so this is probably an eight. And again, this is for the PC, fifteen dollars. Um, I mean, I, it's pretty centered, but I think the edges are a little messed up, so seven or eight. All right, seven, that's fine. Good card. The minor league cards, you know, people don't care about them, but they're pretty. If you like the player, I think they're pretty good. Okay, so this is one of my favorite cards. This is from the tops, uh, the recent 2022 Diamond Greats. Very, very common. No one cares, but this is the red, so this is out of 10. So, yeah, you see there, it's a 10. So, very, not very rare, but a little more rare, and I just like the card. That's so cool. It's like just diamond all that so I mean hopefully it looked clean hopefully for 10 okay 9 I guess for a die cut that's pretty good but um, and it's sort of straight some of these are like super crooked in this in the slab but okay I'll take that that's not, I just love that card all right so another one so this is the Kershaw shimmer prism so I've been collecting uh prism Kershaw's um this one's out of seven you see um but but I love uh this set, I'm trying to go for the rainbow of the 2021 prism. So, hopefully, we're, I mean, a centered corners are good. Hopefully, for 10. I had a nine. It's fine, but yeah, I just it's so pretty. I love that card. All right, and then finally, we got another Kershaw rookie again. This one had, yeah, so you can you can kind of see the corner right there. It's it's bad, and it's this is again PC. So, seven maybe, maybe neat, centered. All right, six. Yeah, that's all right. I'll probably keep this one. Maybe I'll sell the seven. So, um, yeah. So I guess overall, again, you know, it's it's <laughs> it's funny. At fifteen dollars a card, and about twenty dollars a card with shipping, it's not it's not bad. Like if I got one ten, it'd be very profitable. You know, got a lot of nines. Got that weird five. The the, the idea is anything you submit that's a nine, I you know break even, make a little more. And the thing with these is there's no market for these, right? No no one's grading somewhat number you know not rare but but Kershaw's like this and so these are you know if I could sell these they're probably worth a lot or not worth a lot but enough so I would say it's an average submission you know I don't think I lost a lot I don't think I made a lot I probably broke even um, which is the idea um, so yeah it's fine it's fine for now uh, we'll wait to see how we do for the other uh, 20 cards and we'll do another video when that comes in but hope you enjoy that uh, Hope you uh, have better luck than me submitting, but you know, hopefully you have fun too. I just love finding cards. I love evaluating them, and I love when they come back. It's just so much fun. So hope you enjoy that. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.